Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Javi, and today I made my own website using Wix called CatsMakeCrafts.com. I did it all myself, and it looks stunning. Let me show you how I did it. Okay, so let's go to Wix.com. I'm just gonna go ahead and start editing my website. And now I can add anything I want. I can change the text to make it mine. I can make it bigger, smaller. Let's change this to Helvetica Bold. I like Helvetica Bold. I can also stretch the photos, make this maybe a little bigger. Look at this face. Who wouldn't love this face? Yep, this is definitely a website about cats making crafts. Let's see, maybe let's add some comments to this. Yeah, it looks good. I can add menus, I can add apps, I can add chat. They have all sorts of free apps on here. Let's take a look. I can even add my Instagram feed. Let's do that. If I wanna add a video, to my site, all I gotta do is this. Here we go. Cute cat crafts, perfect. This video is great. It's all about cat crafts. Honestly guys, this idea is big. Cats making crafts is gonna change the world. I love that I can add photos to bring my website to life. You can really express yourself through powerful images. Another thing I can do is post blog updates. What should I blog about? I got it. How to be a great cat mom. Love your little guy. Don't eat him. Give him plenty of treats. Looks good. And if you ever run into problems creating your website, don't worry, Wix has answers. Honestly, with Wix, you're only limited by your imagination. They have an amazing health team and support center to guide you along the way. Hey Wix, do you think I can teach a fish how to make crafts? And most importantly, you can feel confident knowing that your website will look stunning on every device. With Wix, you can create your own beautiful website just like mine. So go to wix.com forward slash go slash Robbie or click the link down description down below to create your own stunning website today. Thanks so much Wix for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go make some crafts. Okay, here's our plate, here's our microwave. Oh, I'm so happy that didn't break. One minute. Okay, our plate's all hot. Well, not really, I feel like I need to put it in a little longer. Okay, I put it in for another 30 seconds. Hopefully that's good enough. Next we're gonna get our butter, kinda put it all over that, like that. Yeah, that should be enough butter. Next we add our egg. Okay, yeah, it looks good. Next we're gonna pop the sucker in for another two minutes. Please don't explode, please don't explode, please don't explode. I'll see you guys in two minutes. Okay, and uh, this is how it turned out. I'm not gonna lie, I actually attempted to record me uh, trying it, and it's not bad. I'll just give you another bite. I already put salt and pepper on it. It looks like it actually cooked all the way through, but the edges are kind of like, I don't know if I wanna call that burnt, but they're just very hard. Here we go. Okay, yeah, it's honestly not too bad. It's a little dry, kind of a bit of a dry egg, but it's definitely cooked all the way through. So guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Okay, so I know that they use like a shirt sleeve or something, but I'm gonna go ahead and use a sock because I feel like a sock would be a lot better. We get our egg, put it in there, and then I'm just gonna get some hair ties and tie it up. There we go. Okay, so now we just uh, do this. Shake it up. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Now apparently we just get our flashlight on our phone. Do this. I'm also gonna turn off all the lights really quick. Okay, so as you can see, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty mixed up in there. Now we take a regular egg. How's that look? Kind of looks the exact same. Uh, does that mean, wait, maybe I didn't shake it enough? Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and shake this up some more. Please don't break, come back. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so this is our shaken up egg. It's giving off a good amount of light. You know, you can see straight through it. This is our unshaken egg. It looks the exact same. What did I do wrong? Okay, here's a whole different egg. It's like the same thing. Did I not like shake this egg up enough? I'm so confused. Okay, let's boil this up and see if it actually did anything. I'm gonna go ahead and mark it with an S so I know which one it is. Shaken, not stirred. Okay guys, so I actually don't feel like going all the way downstairs to use a stove to boil these eggs, so we're gonna try another method. So here's our water boiler. We're just gonna turn that on. And when this boils, I'm gonna go ahead and put these eggs in. And finish. It's not finished yet. Maybe if I go and put this over this, it'll make it boil faster. I can hear it. It's almost done. And go. And go. Nope. Okay, I'll be back when this actually boils. And it's done. Um, my lens is a little foggy right now. I'm just gonna... Oh, yeah, that's probably real good for the camera. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so we're just gonna carefully put the eggs in. That's a one. That's a two. It was getting real foggy, so I changed angles. For this, I'm not gonna close the lid because I feel like that'll make the eggs pop with all the pressure, so... 
Just turn that on. Put on a timer for 12 minutes. And here we go. I'll see you guys when this bad boy's done. Okay, so I boiled it without the top on, and uh, now it doesn't seem to be turning on anymore. Normally this lights up, and it's not lighting up at all. I think I might have just broke my water boiler, but I'm not sure. Uh, so I guess I'm just gonna leave it off for now, and then uh, we'll see what happens um, when the timer's up. Hopefully it, it, it heated up enough. Okay, so after doing a little bit of digging around, uh, it looks like I completely broke this. So now I have to replace this whole power switch and it went to my lights it went to my chargers oh no so i don't know i can't believe i broke it what the heck so i guess i'll plug it in somewhere else i don't know will it work if i plug it into into this okay oh it turned back on it's definitely back on let's hope it doesn't like blow out a fuse or something i'll see you guys in 10 minutes well this is done okay so it's been about 10 minutes so uh let's take these puppies out there we go I put them in nice cold water because uh, in case you guys didn't know, this is really effective in making it so that it doesn't come apart all weird when you're peeling it. Feel free to try it at home. I guarantee it'll work a lot better than not doing this. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit for this to cool down, gelatinize, and I will see you guys in a sec. I know I keep saying that, it's so redundant, but you know these hacks take time, I'm sorry. Okay, that should be enough time. Let's see how these turned out. Just gotta take this bad boy out. So this is the shaken one. Okay, did it boil? I don't know. Okay, yeah, that's definitely a boiled egg. It's not quite as like, hard boiled as I'd like. It's more of a soft boil, but it definitely did something. Now is it super mixed up? No, it's not. This isn't mixed up at all. I don't even think that it broke the yolk. Did it break the yolk? No, the yolk is still perfect. Do you see that? Okay, so it does look like it does boil. That's a thing that does work. However, when you mix it up and you do that, uh, yeah, that doesn't actually work. Is this one mixed up? This is the one that's not supposed to be mixed up. And it looks like it's the same case. It's boiled though. It looks like it's properly boiled. It's coming off a little bit more clean. That's good. So yeah, the thing where you boil it and the water boil, that definitely definitely works. Okay. Okay, so here is our champagne. I actually don't drink. Uh, I bought this strictly for the craft. I've also done this one before, but I thought it was cool, so why not do it again? You know, five minute crafts recycles. Why can't I recycle? Recycling good for the earth, right? There we go. I couldn't get this to work actually with a lighter last time, so maybe I can get it to work this time. This one also scared the heck out of me, so uh, w wish me luck, guys. Okay, here we go. Boop, boop, boop. Come on. Maybe turn it a little bit, twist it. Shake it up, baby, now shake it up, baby. Oh man, this is gonna pop and it's gonna scare the f out of me and I'm gonna be like, ah! Oh, we got some bubbles forming in there. Looking good. Just pop open any time now. You could do it. I think this is gonna take a while. I'm not gonna lie, I did grab the cheapest bottle of champagne. I don't know if that has to do with anything. You can do it. You can open and scare the heck out of me. Oh, this is getting so dark right now. This is taking so long. Will it ever pop open? I don't know. Okay, I've been doing this for about two minutes now. Uh, nothing's happening. I feel like I have to break out the blowtorch. Desperate times call for desperate measures, guys. And uh, I'm obviously very desperate, so. Here we go. We can do it. I believe. Any day now. Woo! Okay, it did it. Woo! It actually popped open. Oh man, some steamy uh, champagne. That's that's the good stuff. You see that? It's probably boiling. It's really hot. Ooh. You smell that? You hear that? It definitely doesn't smell good, I'll tell you that. This is adult juice, kids. Don't drink adult juice. Ugh. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this now. Well guys, I guess we can say it works. Okay, this one's easy peasy. Just crack, an oh, just crack an egg into a bowl. Oh man, I really wish that this yolk was separated. Here's our bottle. Just gonna suck it up. Oh, it worked! It actually worked! Wow, it's not like I haven't seen this work a thousand times online before. Well guys, I guess we said this one works. You ever wanna separate a yolk? This is how you do it, boys. Okay, so I love this background. Look it, we're in space, woo! Look it, we're on a dairy farm, woo! Look, I'm at the beach, woo! I just love this green background, perfect. It's a perfect opportunity to mess it up. So here's our syringe, just gonna take that out. These things are actually really hard to find, so it makes me a little sad that I'm ruining it. Go ahead and cut it open, come on. Ugh, these things are so tough. And there we go, looks good. Oh man, I forgot my apple, I'll be right back. Woo, okay, got our apple. Apples in space, woo! Okay, time to core this bad boy. So we're just gonna go like this, and then we're gonna push down. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Uh-oh, kind of missed the bottom a little bit. Let's just uh, tap that in. Yeah, it went all the way through. Okay, yeah, looks good. How do I get this out? Maybe I'll just blow on it? That didn't work. 
I actually kind of like the court, so I feel like this is a little pointless, but I mean, it looks like it works. Minus the fact that I'm a little crooked at the bottom. Mmm, core. Well guys, I guess we can say this one works. Okay, so here's our afro comb. Here's our apple that I'm definitely not reusing from a craft that I just did. So we're just gonna uh, put that in there. I feel like it would definitely work better if it was metal, but uh, oh well. Here we go. Some nice, clean, even cuts. Wow, looks like it's turning out pretty good. These are perfect little apple slices. Oh yeah, okay. So if I ever want some, you know, perfect little apple slices, I know exactly what to do. Well guys, I guess we said this one works. Okay, so here's our orange, here's our cup of water, here's our syringe, just gonna suck up some water, just like that. Yeah, that should be enough. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Then apparently we just put it into the orange, and then uh, we squeeze it, squeeze all the water in. I can tell that this is gonna be a very juicy orange. Okay, now apparently this should make it so that it's really easy to peel. Let's do this. Okay, not bad. That juice is definitely getting everywhere. I mean, it's not really that much easier. It's not coming apart like it showed in the video, so maybe I'm just supposed to pull it apart? Ooh. Yeah, I don't know about this. This definitely doesn't make it easier to peel. It feels like it's about the same. Oh man, this poor orange. <laughs> okay, yeah. This feels like it's about as easy to peel as it would normally be. Let's see if it tastes any different. It's definitely way more watery than a normal orange. I mean, it doesn't really taste that much better at all. So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one kind of works? I don't know. At least I got an orange out of it, and that's all that really matters. Eat your vitamin C, kids. It's great for you. Now I just have kind of like a big mess. <laughs> Okay guys, so here's our egg, here's our bowl, here's our little thumbtack. I'm just gonna go ahead and stab it and make the hole maybe a little bigger. Yeah, there we go. Put the hole right here too. Okay, now we get our balloon. I'm just gonna go ahead and blow that up really quick. Okay, now we're just gonna try and blow the egg out just like this with the balloon. Ready? And a one, a two, and oh my God, it's actually coming out. Wow, it's actually working. <laughs> Wow, it actually hollowed out the egg. That's handy. Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works. What do I do with this empty eggshell now? Hey Toby. Yes? You wanna see a magic trick? Oh, I don't know. Well, here you go. Wow, I can't believe you did that. Okay, I'm going. Okay guys, so here's our cup, here's our vinegar. We'll just pour some of this in there. Man, I hate the smell of vinegar so much. <laughs> so gross. Yeah, let's get that out of here. Now we just get our egg and we put it in here for 24 hours. Okay guys, I'll see you guys in 24 hours. Okay guys, so it's been about 24 hours. Here's our egg. Oh boy, we got a little bit of foamage in there. I don't know what's going on with that. We're gonna go ahead and grab our fancy tongs that we made a while ago. Here we go. Ugh, ugh. Oh, that's so weird. Oh! Don't get on me, I hate vinegar. Get on me! Okay, that looks like a very bouncy egg. Let's try it. It actually bounces! That's so weird. Oh, it's all squishy. Oh, that's so weird. Why does it do that? It's just, why is it a bouncy egg? Oh, it broke open. Here's what it was. This is the bounciness. The bounciness is gone. Oh man, that's so gross. I hate the smell of vinegar. Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works. It's very gross though. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Okay guys, so here's our mug. Add some water. I don't know if that's too much. It didn't really specify how much water I was supposed to add. Then we add our egg. There we go, looks good. Now we're gonna toss this puppy in the microwave. Okay, we put that in the microwave. And we put a plate on top of it. Dang it, I forgot how long I was supposed to microwave this for. Time to go all the way back upstairs. Okay, what did it say again? Two minutes, okay, two minutes. Okay, so two minutes. I'll see you guys in two minutes. Okay, it's been one minute. Let's see how this puppy turned out. Ooh, that's already not looking too good. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we're gonna take off the top plate and we're gonna see uh, how this turned out. 
Oh wow. That actually looks like it kind of cooked. I really don't know how to feel about this though because it, it looks kind of gnarly. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this little egg out. It looks kind of watery, but it's fine because I did put a bunch of water in it. Okay, wow, this actually cooked. It almost looks hard boiled to me. That's crazy. Like a very watery hard boiled. Well, now for the part that I'm kind of dreading most, uh, let's try this. But first I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. Oh yeah, that definitely looks way more palatable. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh yeah, that's definitely a very watery cooked egg. Well guys, if you guys like watery cooked eggs, I guess we can say that this one works. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure where my funnel went, so it looks like we're gonna have to make our own. We're just gonna get some tape. I got some cool galaxy tape here. Boop. Okay, put it off to the side. Yeah, that ought to do it. We're just gonna tape it up like that. Snip the tip, and boop. Yeah, that should do it. Put our cup there, put our funnel, crack an egg. Now let's see if this works. Oh, that definitely did not work. Ugh. Okay, so I'm not sure if, uh, you know, because I don't have a real funnel or if it's because this just doesn't work. But for me, it looks like it's just not working. It got the yellow yolk all up in there and uh, it doesn't, it, it, this is not working at all. So I'm gonna have to say this one doesn't work. Okay guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we recreate the thumbnail. Woo! Featuring my dirty, dirty sink. I'm very sorry guys. So just throw that water on there. Now we're gonna let that boil. Okay, we're all boiled, looks good. Now it's time to get our ladle, get our egg, pop that in there. I really don't know if this is actually gonna make it cook or not. I feel like it might, but it's gonna take a while. So here we go, get that in there. Now I just gotta hold it like this until it's fully cooked. I feel like this is gonna take a while, so I'll see you guys whatever this is uh, kinda cooked maybe. You can do it, egg, you can cook, you can cook. You can cook. Okay, maybe this will make a good thumbnail. I'm gonna keep waiting until this fully cooks though, because I wanna see if this actually cooks it. I decided to move it to a different angle because my lens was getting kind of hot and I really don't want this puppy to break. Come on, egg, cook already. Oh, I got water in it. Shoot. I mean, it's kind of cooking. You can do it. You can do it. I got more water in it. Dang it, I am the world's best egg chef. Okay, yeah, that looks mostly cooked. Uh, let's see how this bad boy turned out. Move this off to the side. This right here. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's that's not good. Come on. Get out of there, little egg. Okay, so this is obviously not a very effective way of cooking eggs. It got stuck right in there. I mean, maybe if I actually put like butter inside of it so it didn't stick, it would work. But as of right now, it looks like it doesn't work if you just throw a, an egg inside of a ladle. So I guess we're gonna have to say this one doesn't work. Woo! Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Look some of this right, right down there. If you guys wanna watch me do even more fun life hacks and crafts, I have a whole playlist dedicated to me doing that right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want the shirt, some stickers, or any of my other merch, you can click right here. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I'll go to Okay, bye! Ah!